it's Schleck Horse Lover 200 here again with another video and today I am super excited because we are going to be unboxing and reviewing Spirit and Lucky from the Netflix series Spirit Riding Free. So to tell you guys the truth, I've actually never seen the series Spirit Riding Free because my family does not have Netflix. But I have seen little clips of it here and there on YouTube and yeah, just little bits here and there. And some people say they really like it, some people don't like it so much. I mean, I think it's pretty good. Um, I do think the horses can understand the humans a little bit too well and just uh, little things like that. But um, yeah, but when I seen this set in Walmart, I was like, I have to have Spirit because I am a huge fan of the movie Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron. So when I saw this, it was like, I had to have this set. Um, and they also had little Spirit Riding Free blind bags there. Um, yeah, they were just little wee and it was like $5 for a blind bag. And then this set here is about $12. So I was like, for just a few extra dollars, I could get Spirit and Lucky for, an, wait, bleh, in like a lot bigger scale. So I thought it was a better deal to get the bigger version. And then of course it also had, I think her name's uh, Prue and Chica Linda. Um, they didn't have Abigail and Bo Boomerang, but they did have this one horse. He was just all black and uh, he was so pretty. Um, he didn't come with uh, any human or anything. He was just by himself, and I was really uh, debating on getting him or Spirit and Lucky here, but I decided on Spirit because he is my all-time favorite. So, yeah, that is enough talking for now, and, um, yeah, so I am just dying to get these guys out of the box, so I'm going to go grab my scissors, and we are going to get started. guys out of the box this has got to be like the hardest thing that I have ever unpackaged the factory had them pinned in there so good it took me forever um yeah but it's all worth it because I think they are so nice so um um yeah so we're gonna start the reviewing with spirit because he's like my favorite um so I'm just gonna grab Lucky here by her hair sorry so this is Lucky just real quick she's real cute too but I'm just gonna lean her up against the barn here so we can start our reviewing with Spirit so um Spirit here has um real real hair for his mane and tail um his forelock is um plastic um personally I would have liked him best if his whole mane and tail was plastic like this um I've never been a huge fan of the real hair for the horse's manes and tails just because they get real yucky real quick but I'm gonna try my best to take care of this guy because he is spirit <laughs> um yeah so uh bleh, I am so sorry I cannot talk today I forgot what I was gonna say um so his mane here it's uh really uh trained back like this because that's the way it was in the packaging I'm gonna try to get it so it'll go more like that um yeah but that's not really too important um his tail here um it is rubber band to his leg and i kind of left it that way 
um, just because um, I wanted to, it kind of keeps it nice and contained. Um, it doesn't start all, you see there's little hair sticking up here. And I think it would have been really nice if they included a brush since both Lucky and Spirit both have uh, real hair, mane and tails. Um, they should have included a brush, I think. Um, but thankfully, I do have some old doll brushes that I can use on them. Um, yeah, but uh, Spirit here, he is not a briar. Uh, they are made by, uh, this set is made by the Spirit Riding Free Company kind of like thing. So I always thought these guys were briars, but they're not. Um, but really doesn't make a whole lot of difference because, uh, like the the horse here the plastic it's not cheap plastic and I was kind of worried about that because a lot of times especially horses I've gotten whoops with um the real manes and tails like the real hair um the plastic they're just really bad quality and they're real cheap and thin but um spirit hair is actually really good quality it's actually pretty heavy not really heavy but you know he's got some weight to him other like unlike some of the other horses they're just really cheap and they like feathers like yeah I don't know if you guys have ever had them but he's really good quality you know plastic and um yeah I think he's so pretty he's got um his black shading on his legs um as we all know and then his face which is like my favorite part let me focus kind of close on him uh, come on camera I want to see I wanted you guys to see all the markings he has, um, you know, like all the details. So his eyes are like so detailed. They got, they're like, they got the white and then they got brown and they got white, another white dot. And uh, they are so detailed. Yeah, th they really make him so realistic. And of course he's got his eyebrows, which is really cute because as we all know, real horse, as we all know, real horses don't have eyebrows, but... Um, it just kind of, it helps show, like, in expression, um, in w when they're making movies and stuff, and I think it's really cute, um, yeah, and then of course he has his little forelock, and then his blaze, and I hear a lot of people talking about the blaze on Spirit, because the Spirit, we know from Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron, does not have a blaze, and I read an article on Spirit Riding Free, and... They explained that the spirit from Spirit Riding Free is not the spirit from Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron. Um, they said that this new spirit is the son of spirit. So that's all pretty confusing. <laughs> I hope it's not. Um, so this horse here is the son of the spirit we know from Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron, okay? And that's why he has a blaze. Um, I'm guessing he gets that from his mother, Rain. Um, yeah, so um, that's just what I read. So, yeah, but I think overall he is so pretty. Um, yeah, so I'm not quite sure what scale he is. I'm thinking he's around like a classic. Um, yeah, I actually have a Briar classic. So I'm gonna go grab him and we're just gonna kinda like compare sizes. Cause I wanna see how much bigger the classic is going to be up next to him. All right, so um, I have Chester and he is a Briar classic. And I'm just like, I'm just super curious to see what the size difference is going to be because as I said, this is a Briar classic. This is just a spirit riding free brand horse. So I just wanna see like the sizes. So, um. Wow, Spirit actually is taller than Chester. Um, that could be just because Spirit is in a prancing position, but I was really, I really thought that Chester was gonna be bigger than Spirit, but they're actually just about the same. So Chester is a little bit taller than he is, but Spirit has his head lifted up, so he's a little bit taller. Um, yeah, so he has his head lifted up, so he's a bit taller that way but they're really the same size and i'm going to be able to play with them together i mean even if they weren't the same size i could still play with them together but i always like my horses to be kind of the same so um 
they're all falling down, I'm sorry. Um, stand. Yeah, they don't like to stand on the carpet too well. But, um, see, what did I tell ya? Um, Spirit here, he has, he's not on all four feet, he's on three, <laughs> I'm sorry. He is on, he stands on three legs and he has one lifted up, so it makes it a bit hard for him to stand on carpet. Um, same with Chester here, he's got him. He's up down on all four legs and he still doesn't like to stand on this carpet. Um, yeah, so what was I going to say? Yeah, so Spirit is actually just about the same size as Chester. Um, Chester is a little bit wider, you know, he's a little longer, but that is okay. I am really happy. Um, now you can, of course, tell really, I mean, you can really tell that Spirit, he looks just like a DreamWorks horse. I don't know, DreamWorks has this little, I mean, I can always tell when I see a DreamWorks character. And then um, Chester here, he of course is just like, he's a regular briar. But um, yeah, so I am so happy with my spirit. Oh, I've always wanted a spirit model. All right, so um, we have already spent like seven minutes talking about spirit and I am so sorry you guys that this review is turning out to be so long. Um, yeah, so yeah, I think it's about time that we talk about Lucky some. So this here is Lucky and she is a spirits rider, I guess. So um, yeah, she stands about, I don't know, I didn't measure her, but uh, she stands about, I don't know, maybe four or five inches tall. And um, yeah, so I think she is really cute. Um, she has a brown wavy hair, just like from the series. Um, I think her face is really uh, realistic and it's pretty detailed. I think it's actually really detailed. It looks a lot like the one from, uh, you know, the series. And then she has a white shirt and it has like a little red design up here at the top. And um, it also um, Velcro's in the back so you can take it off if you wanted to. Um, she has her brownish reddish pants that she always wears and then she just has some brown uh, boots um, yeah and they're just kind of like plain brown boots um, they do come off you just pull it off like that I guess and then it's just like that I don't know why it's getting so dark I don't know I am sorry about that it's it's been doing that a lot it's getting light and then it'll get dark so, I don't know why it's doing that. There, see, it's getting light again. <laughs> My thing is having issues, but yes, yeah, so sorry about that. Um, yeah, so back to the doll. So the boots do come off just like that. Um, they're just plain brown boots. Um, I do wish they would have put the details on here that they have in the series. Um, I don't know uh, exactly what it is, but it's like some red design. Um, it was on the packaging but um yeah they did kind of leave that off and I do think it would have made the toy a lot better if they would have added that extra detail but um yeah I'm not saying that I don't like her I think she's great but um yeah it would have been a nice little extra thing to do there we go I had to put the boot back on so um yeah I think Lucky is really cute um her head moves from side to side her arms can be moved up and down like that. Um, she can do a split with her legs. Um, that is so she can ride a horse. And um, her legs move like this, I guess. And there's also a um, joint in her knee so she can also bend her knees. So um, I already had her on Spirit earlier, but I'm going to put her on him again just so we can, um, yeah, see it again, I guess. And um, yeah, so Lucky fits on Spirit really good. And um, yeah, I just think they are so cute together and they're a really adorable pair. All right, everybody. So that's it for today's unboxing and review video. Um, I am so happy with my Lucky and Spirit. I still cannot believe that I actually have a Spirit model. He is so pretty. Um, 
Yeah, but anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And of course, if you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and of course, subscribe to my channel. And yeah, so I will see you all next time. Bye!